right, yep, that is the one. Ooh, this is the car I really wanted. Oh, yes. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another epic versus, at least I hope it is, because I'm a little disappointed of what we have here, because if you flip to my other camera real quick, what do you see that looks different? Yeah. I was told that these are legit, but I guess you guys let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it in this versus. As you guys saw, this will be the official tournament pack, the OTS 25s versus the OTS 22s. So there was a video that Ruxin34 did opening these tournament packs 22 and they look exactly like this. I even made a comment saying, yeah, th this, this feels a little bit off. No, these packs are actually wider than usual, it feels like. I think they widened them a little bit. I don't know, I don't know why, but they did. Okay. But he still opened it. It was legit. And um, well, at least I think it's legit. I don't know yet. I talked to the guy who sold me this. I don't think it's the guy's fault. He was at eBay store. I think he is legit for the most part, like in terms of a regular store. But he's the one that told me that these came out of the OTS. Uh, case boxes. Uh, there was a mention from another YouTuber that I talked to saying that OTS 22, for some reason, those particular packs came in those really wider packs for some reason compared to OTS 22, which is a little more, you can actually feel the cards right here. Uh, like it feels like it's just a little, little more uh, length to it. it like it, it feels like it's not fully secured in there. But according to what I was told, these are legit. But Anybody that has any information on it, let me know because I definitely want to spread some awareness, if anything, if I could, in this channel to see if these, these are real packs or not. And just make sure other people who actually order OTS 22 on eBay or any other source gets what they actually ask for. Nevertheless, we're going to talk about OTS 25 and OTS 22 in terms of the high value pulls, as well as who's going to win in this versus. As you flip to the other camera here, let's go and talk about OTS 22s. Now, in regards to OTS 22, the high value pull, the obviously ultimate rare, obviously, is going to be the Triple T, Triple Tactics Thrust Ultimate Rare at a current value at $69.50. The second highest value is Branded Fusion Ultimate Rare, obviously, at $35.93. And the third highest being Pearly Lee, per Pearly, I, I guess, at uh, $26.18. So yes, those are three high value pulls. Now, when it comes to OTS 25, uh, these recently came out, obviously, but I think the price is pretty equal to OTS 22, if, of course, it's a, a real pack. The number one pull here is Snake Eye Ash, Ultimate Rare, obviously, at $60.33. The second highest, Finder of the Herald, Ultimate Rare, at $36.93. And the third highest, the Exodia, the Forbidden One, at $30.90. So definitely some cool cards there for OTS 25. I guess before we get into uh, OTS 25 versus OTS 22, or real versus fake, let's talk about the points. If it breaks the $1 mark, that is gonna be one point. If it breaks the $5 mark, that is two points. If it breaks the $10 mark, that is three points. $20 mark, that's gonna be four points. The $50 mark is five points. And of course the coveted six pointer is breaking $100 plus. But none of these actually break $100. So the highest we'll see is a five pointer in this particular versus. So without further ado, let's do this. Place your votes right now and press the like for luck for either of these versus. Let's see who would win. Let's do this thing. All right, guys. So we're gonna start with OTS 22 because I just wanna open, I, I wanna open these side by side to see, you know, like if it looks real inside because obviously you can tell, uh, like it just looks, you know, wider here. Like this one is wider. And then of course on the rear here, like the, the way these, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, but these uh, little, I don't even know, sleeves, I guess. These uh, these um, these handle sleeves. Um, this one is a little, looks way different from the rear. And usually, like I, I've seen like some uh, like LOBs that have this and the, the, those LOBs are typically known to be fake cards, usually, especially if they're first edition and they have those weird, and it looks like this. But according to sources, um, at least a few sources, I haven't got to all my sources, they're saying that th this is how uh, Konami shipped them out in those, in those uh, OTS cases, but whatever. Let's open up the real one for sure, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. OTS 25. 
And even like the, the feel of the packs feel very different as well. I don't think there's a card trick to this per se, so we're just gonna go right into it. We have the Dyna Mando, which is, a, oh, it's just, it looks like Zombie 1 to the back, maybe. Um, we have the Virtual World Kayubi, uh, Shin Shin. And then the other common card here is the Gen X Udin, which of course is featured in the, the latest Battle of Legends. Um, what is it called? Uh, Terminal Revenge. So this is gonna be the high value, super rare, I guess. Let's see what points we get from this. If any, if any. And you probably guys notice, uh, I have a little bit of a, of a nasally cold or I'm getting over it. I'm, I'm actually a lot better now than I was like a few days ago. I was like pretty bad. I couldn't even like get out of bed. All right, not too shabby, good start. This is a dollar and 13 cents. That is one point. All right, good start for the real packs, I guess. So let's, uh, I'm very, very curious to see what this looks like. Okay, I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I'm hoping it's real, but I don't know. I, I'm having my doubts. It feels weird opening it. It feels like it's like a, a different manufacturer that repackages for some reason. Okay, we got the uh, Herald of the Abyss. Looks real for the most part. Brennan Red. And then we have the Pearly Happy Memory. Centering is crap though. You can kind of see the centering there is pretty crappy. There's like a little skinny there, a little fatter there, a little fatter there, a little skinny there. So terrible centering all around. Not fantastic at all. But let's check out this value if it's real. Okay, decently at what a dollar and twenty-nine cents. So we are tied one to one. Let's take another look at this. Yeah, the font looks hella different actually. Yeah, check out check out the font, guys. I don't think this is real. Like the text for the bottom here. I don't know, you guys let me know. But I'm thinking 22 is fake. But uh, again, it's, it's not the seller's fault. I don't think he knew. He was sold fake cards and he tried to resell fake cards. And he just didn't know. He's not a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. So I don't know. We'll check out some more, more cards in the future. But it's, it's, right now it's kind of looking like a fake to me. I don't know, the way it looks. But anyway, 25. I try not to hamper it too much, but you know, it's good kind of a awareness for those that, you know, uh, open up packs as often as I do to kind of spot those uh, differences. I mean, just look at the, the text here. It looks way different. We have the Red Ox Dragon Ruler of the Borders. Oh, I did the card trick wrong with that. <laughs> I thought that was one to the front. Um, Fire King Avatar Arvata. And then the Dried Winds also terrible center all the all these OTS cards always have terrible center I don't know why all right another good pointer here this is that dollar and 15 cents so that is another point for 25 all right I guess back to the the fake I got I, I gotta look at more cards to see but I'm so so far I'm thinking that these are these are fake it just feels fake now I'm curious like if, if they have like ultimate rares like it's probably not going to be right either. I don't know. Actually, this one looks fine, the text. But then again, I, I think what it is too, like uh, they kind of like changed the font a little bit as they, they went from different generations. Because this, this one is actually pretty old-ish. It came out, I think, 2021, I think, 2022? Maybe 2021. So maybe, because this one actually looks normal to me. The, 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 the text. I don't know, it could, be, it could be real, man. could be real, let me know. I don't know. We have Desynchro. Oh, we got, we got, we got the Band Loss. Okay. Not Branded Loss, I should say. And number 28, Titanic Moth. I don't know, why, why does it look so different though, like compared to... Like the fun just looks different, I don't know. Am I, am I going crazy here? I don't know, let me know guys. Like it looks, if, if I just look at it like by itself, it looks fine. But like if I, if I compare it with like another set, it looks way different, right? I, I guess Bren loss. <laughs> it's my loss, I guess. All right, this one is only uh, 79 cents. So no points for this one. All right, back to 25. I'm already, I'm already hoping that uh, freaking uh, 25 wins. Uh, we have the Gen X Gaia. 
the number 32 Snake Drake. Yeah, because this font looks similar to the, uh, the whatchamacallits, I don't know. And then the, we have the Right Princess. I don't know, it could be legit, guy. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> you guys let me know. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Let, let, let's just assume it's real for now, just so uh, we can actually have some points. This one is only 87 cents, so no points for 25. Okay. Hey guys, before you open some more packs, I do have a little word. We have a my boy here, Hunter, as we head to uh, Pizza for some pizza. Not sponsored by Pizza, at least not yet. But it, today's video is sponsored, of course, by our boys at Ultra Pro. At least I have an affiliate link down below, an Amazon affiliate link for, for those guys to check out. That, of course, will go towards, you know, this show that I do here, a weekly basis of opening and unboxing Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh packs and whatnot. And of course, you gotta protect those by sleeving those in Ultra Pro binders. You got to, you got to, right, Hunter? Yeah, yeah, of course. But anyway, guys, check out the link down below. Help support the show, as I mentioned. Wow. Wow. You want this car? I guess he's giving away this car. I don't know. But anyway, guys, check out the link, and I'll see you. Continue on with some more epic openings of his verses. Now, something I forgot to mention in the intro because I was more curious about opening them is obviously I think it's uh, I think it's 30 packs to 30 packs. Uh, there's only three cards uh, per pack, so it should be much quicker um, as we, uh, we we move on. But from the fakeness of it all, but uh, we have the 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 shink. The, the Sinks R R Realm, number 20 uh, Titanic Moth, and the Runic Dispelling. And also too, once we get some more duplicates, it should go a lot more quicker too. So not quite, but only 91 cents for this one. No points for 22. All right. The only thing good about this is the fact that this is a, I guess a business, if you will. So it's a, at least a tax write-off, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it still it still hurts opening up fake packs, but whatever. Utopia, Anomatopoeia, the Yumit wins, and the full armored XC. At least I know 25 is real. I definitely have to uh, show this show this video off to some of my other YouTuber friends and see what they think about some of these packs. All right, this is only 74 cents. No points. We haven't got a point in a while for either set. It just feels different too, like like the way the way it opens. I don't know. I don't know, guys. All right, we have this uh, Sync Realm, the brand red again, and the purely happy memory. I believe this was a point. Yeah, it was. A dollar and twenty nine cents. So that is a point for OTS twenty two. So I believe we are tied at two to two. If I kept my score right, obviously the editor will uh, will know more and uh, back me up. It's not it's not common for me to open up uh, fake fake cards, but uh, you know, obviously you t you tend to like not really trust sellers because obviously sellers can always like uh, steer you wrong. But for the most part. Uh, um, you kind of have to go with your, your gut instincts, but uh, it seems to me that the seller itself didn't know that these were fake. They just, they, they it, or potentially fake. I still don't know for a fact, um, but it, they did say it come, uh, they, cause they even showed me like the picture of the box that it came out of and it was the official like box from, oh, from Konami. So like, I don't know, maybe it was like that and that's how Konami shipped it. I don't know. Konami, let me know. If you, if, if, if Konami, somebody with Konami is watching, let me know. <laughs> this one is only 57 cents, so no points for 25. All right, we have the Herald of the Abyss again, the the Sink, the Blast Wave, and the Unchained Abomination. Now I'm curious when uh, if if we do somehow pull a um, Ultimate Rare, I, I definitely want to see how that feels on the OTS 22s. So no points here, only 46 cents for this. Kind of cool looking card. I mean, does it feel real? I guess like right right here. Yeah, it feels feels real enough. I don't know. It feels real enough. 25. All right, we have the uh, and and uh, and a uh, ma mancipator, and emancipator. Yeah, and emancipator. Risen, Dragonite. We have the blessed winds 
and the Psi Frame Gear Delta. Okay. Decent right here. This is going to be a pointer. $2.40 for OTS 25. That is one point. All right. Wow, that, feel, that feels so bad, like opening it. Like it just feels, feels different. I don't know. I got, I got to watch, I got to rewatch uh, um, Ruxin's video. The reason why I didn't watch the full video is so that I don't want to spoil myself in terms of what's in the cards if they are turn out to be real. I just noticed that he opened the same exact pack as that. And I wonder if you made additional comments on it. Uh, but yeah, we have the Archfiend uh, Eccentric, Brandon Red, and the Galaxy 100. This one is only 38 cents if it was real. <laughs> it, probably, it probably is real, I don't know. I'm just having my doubts because just, I'm just like, oh wait, look, you, you kind of see here too, actually. It's kind of hard to see, but you kind of you kind of see it in OTS 25 as well. How, but it, it's just like more to the left or whatever. I don't know. Probably because it is, it is a wider pack. Like they didn't secure properly or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making an excuse for myself. You know, justify my purchase. We have the Brennett Winds, or Bless Winds, the Red Ox Dragon Ruler of the Bo Borders, and the Fire King Island. That's a new card. Nice. So it is a dollar and 21 cents. So that's a point for OTS 25. I think that takes it to the lead. Well, actually, yeah, I'm even higher lead. All right, here we go. We have the Summit Limit. I don't know, maybe the, color, the coloring here feels too purple, I don't know. We have the Noble Knight Borg, Br Br Bras, and the Unchained Abomination, which I believe wasn't a point. Yeah, it's only 46 cents, so no points there. Now, the only thing I will say about OTS 25 is the fact that it did come out like about two weeks ago from this recording uh, video. So it's possible that uh, it's still worth more than uh, the Note Test 22, which came out a couple of years ago. But uh, overall, you know, I think it's a pretty equal versus, even if it's only a, uh, it, like so many years apart. We have the Rank Up Magic Skip Force. The Humid Wind. Ooh! <laughs> this is the card I really wanted. Oh, yes! Terrible centering, though. Holy but Jesus. Look at the left to right centering. Wow, top to bottom is actually not as bad, not as noticeable, I guess. But left to right is bad. But this is the card I wanted: Exodia, the Forbidden One, Ultimate Rare. Yeah, hell yeah! It's definitely gonna be points worthy for sure. Probably, probably win it for OTS 25. All right, yep, that is the one. Not quite the the highest though, though but it's still points worthy. This one is thirty dollars. And 90 cents. So this one is four points. Wow. So the score now should be eight to two. Eight to two. Some ter terrible centering. Oh my god. Hurts my eyes. All right, OTS 22. Can we pull an ultimate rare out of here? Because I want to see what it looks like side by side with, with another ultimate rare. All right. We have the uh, Arch Fiend Eccentric. Wow. Wow. Is, is that common? This, this, this even feels more sus. The fact that you, we see the two of the same cards back to back. And then a Galaxy... I don't know. I've never seen before. Galaxy 100. I don't know. Again, I have to watch other people's videos because I... This is crazy. This is crazy, man. And not the good crazy. Not the good crazy at all. This one is only 38 cents, so no points. Wow. Oh my god. OTS 22, what, what is going on here? I'm glad OTS 22 is not winning because I, I don't, like if it, if it is indeed confirmed to be fake, at least I know the real prevails. All right. We have the Gen X uh, Ga Gaia, the Fierce Knight. We have the Triaz uh, Her Archia and the Fire Knight uh, Avatar Avada. I think that was points. Yeah, it was. A dollar and 15 cents, so that's additional point for OTS 25. Nine to two. Nine to two. Is it even worth opening these packs? I don't know. All right, we have the Power Tool Mecha Dragon, the Noble Knight uh, Boars, 
and the Unchained Abomination yet again, which I don't think was point. OTS 22? <laughs> and comments down below as well. Let me know. Have you guys opened up fake packs before? Let me know. Because um, this is definitely not my first. It's probably not going to be my last. And uh, I definitely want to hear your horror stories in the comments. The, the Utopia Onomatopoeia, the Virtual World uh, Karubai uh, Shishin, and the Dino, Dino Mondo, which I believe was points actually. Yeah, it was. A dollar and 13 for additional point. OTS 25. 10 to 2 now. I don't think OTS 22 has a shot, guys. Because like another thing that like that might be possible with OTS 22 is um, they might have like um, they probably did have the original box, for example, right? And the where, where the original buyer was, he probably opened all the packs up, grabbed all the cards that he wanted, resealed those that of course cards that he didn't want, and I guess resealed terribly. I don't, I don't know. And uh, that's why we're not getting any good uh, ultimate rares, probably any at all. Like the chance of us not getting at least one ultimate rare out of 30 packs is like crazy, right? So we should have at least one ultimate rare from this. But if you don't, I think to me that confirms that these are fake. What do you guys think? And then we pull ultimate rare now, but I really doubt it though. I really doubt we're gonna pull any ultimate rares from OTS 22. Uh, because if you guys recall my previous verses with OTS, I think 24 and 23, I pulled two or three ultimate rares from each side. So, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Gal Galaxy 100 again. Yeah, I I'm like, I'm like saying it right now, guys. I'm selling it now. Because um, that one is not worth any points either. All right, back to 25, the real. We have the, uh, the Risen Drag Knight. Number number 32, Snake Drake, and the Full Armored XC. I don't, I don't think those are points. But that is my prediction, guys. That we're not gonna pull any ultimate rares. Which, again, if they came out from the same uh, case, um, or a box, I think a box has 100 packs per whatever, 100 packs per box. And yeah, we should, and we have like one third of it, we should have at least a shot of getting at least one uh, ultimate rare. What is a new card here? The Evolite, Evolite t t Tile, I guess. Najasho, and then another Unchained Abomination. See, let's see how common this is. A, this feels, this feels repacked. We're gonna push on with the verses though. See how much uh, we can dominate the fake side. The Udine, the Dried Winds. Ooh, a token card. Nice. This is the first time I've seen this one. Uh, this is the Infernald, Infernoid uh, Togen. Nice. Not points worthy though, it's only 82 cents. But it looks cool though. Looks cool. It looks different. I think we've seen different uh, rarities. Unlike 22, we've seen so many of the same rarities. All right. Uh, Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles. The Power Tool Mecha Dragon. And another Unchained Abomination. Look at that, that's crazy. Back to back, that's stupid. It's almost comical. All right, we have the Serpentine Princess, the Raid Raptor Wise Strix, and the Right Princess. I don't think these are, this is points. Yeah, it was only 87 cents, so no points. Can we get another Unchained Abomination? What an abomination. So I'll definitely be replying uh, to the seller, like, you're gonna have to burn those because those are all like repackaged or something. Like these, it might be real cards, sure, but they were definitely repackaged. That's my uh, my prediction. The Morph Tonic uh, Remote, the Runic Dispelling, which we it is newish, but I don't think this is points worthy. Yep, this is only ninety one cents. At least in that freaking other abomination. If I get another abomination, like like back to back, like three or four times in a row, like, yeah, yeah. All right, we have the Shark Drake, the Trias High, uh, High uh, Hair, Archie, Archia, and the Fusion Tag. Okay, that looks different, that looks cool. This one is only 41 cents, so no points. We actually got, I haven't got a point in a while for OTS 25, but then again, I don't think it needs it. I don't think it needs it. All right, uh, Euro Force. The Najosho and <laughs> the Unchained Abomination. 
Oh my god. Yeah, th these have clearly been repackaged. Soul release. I haven't seen this in a while. Th th this shows OTS 25 is legit because at least we're getting different rarities. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. A dollar and 33 cents. So another point for OTS 25. All right. I'm just gonna uh, like I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the rest of these guys, and and just and just see because like I'm pretty sure we're not gonna pull anything great in OTS 22. I can almost bet on it. All right, we're we're just gonna go right into OTS because right now we haven't got any points in a while with OTS 22. So I'm pretty sure we're not gonna pull anything great with them. All right, card here, runic dispelling. I think that was no points either. <laughs> Unchain abomination. Yep. All right. Runic Dispelling. <laughs> this is definitely a repackage, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Well, I can believe it. I kind of did it to myself, but I had to do a video about it as well, Unchained Abomination. So you guys, you know, that are watching this video can like be, be warned um, about it. So like it, um, like recently though, I've been trying, ooh, this is a new card newish card uh every time i i talk about a, like a ots 25 with, with other sellers i just like I, I ask them like specifically take a picture of the pack front and back so i can see what it looks like and if it looks like that it's probably real sealed and fake potentially um again i don't know if it's real or not but i i, I have to rewatch, um or not rewatch, but watch the full video that other people did on this um and just see the reactions because uh, I'm pretty sure they made a comment about this. All right, only 18 cents for that, so not, not even worth any points. Ooh, okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. We actually pulled an ultimate rare. The, and the, the really good card, too. Okay. Interesting, so... Now... Maybe they, they did successfully repackage it. So let's take a look at the, ult, the, other, the other ulti here and see if it looks similar. I think it is. Even though it's a different card, you can see the, the foilness, I guess. There's a little chip there. That's probably why they got, they got rid of it. There's a chip there. Why is there a chip there? I don't know. Kind of lowers the grade a little bit. <laughs> that, that's one reason why you got this because of, <laughs> of that. Okay, so this is the first legit pull from uh, OTS 22. Okay, may maybe this is real. Maybe this is real, not repackaged. Maybe I was just had terrible luck. I don't know. Maybe it was weighted. I don't know. And it what? <laughs> I don't freaking know, guys. You, you, I, I'm like as confused as you are. But if this is truly a triple tactics trust ultra rare. This one has $69.50, so that is a five-pointer. So that brings it to 11 to 7. So, yeah, that, I guess I can't really deny it's fake now. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna open some, some more of these. All right, Evo d d uh, Division or d Diversity. Okay, that one, this one is only 25 cents. Now that the game is actually kind of close, I'm gonna open it normally and show all the cards and do the pack trick. All right, we have the Remote, Remotin, the Evo Force, and the Clear New World, which was in points, I think. 18 times the disappointment. So at least we pulled the card that I wanted to get, even though the center was terrible and uh, there's a freaking ding on it. So not even grade worthy. But we have the Summit Limit Power Tool and another Evo Diversity, which was not any points. That threw me off, that threw me off, guys. That triple tactics threw me off. All right, Remote, Evo Force, and the Nuclear New World. It's just kind of crazy how common those uh, those other rarities are. No, it makes it feel sus a little bit, you know? But I guess it's real. I guess it's real. Sync Blast and another Unchained Abomination. I think what really threw me off too is uh, the fact that I got so many Unchained uh, Abominations. It was like, okay, this is getting annoying, guys. Getting annoying. Give me something new. All right, the realm. Ooh, 
I open it too quick. Summon limit at another ultimate rare. Branded fusion. Again with the terrible centering. What is up with Konami? What the G's guys? Another like weird scup there. Not grade worthy at all. We'll we'll assume the price for it, I guess. This one is $35.93, so that is four points. So for now, it's tied 11 to 11. I'm pretty confident that OTS25 is gonna win even, even though we, um, we opened up these two ultimate rares. So I guess my uh, my prediction of getting ultimate rares is, is true. You, you get at least two, potentially three, uh, opening up uh, 30 packs. Another uh, Galaxy 100, which of course was no points. Down to our last three packs for OTS 22. All right, Desynchro, Evo Force, Unchained Abomination. All right, the Herald of the Abyss, another Herald of the Abyss, and I'm ruining the spelling, which was not eight points. I've never seen before where they have like two of the same cards in the same pack. Uh, but yeah, this is the last OTS 22. We'll see. We'll see if it gets any more points. All right, the Mecha Dragon, Red and Red, and the Chain Abomination. Of course, of course we'll finish it off with that one. Why wouldn't we? All right, guys, let's finish off OTS 25. All right, rank up Magic Skip Force. And then another token here, which, I, which, not, which was not points worthy. All right, Shen Shen, Udin, and a Fire King Island. I think that was points. Yep, a dollar twenty-one. That's a point. Already took the lead, and of course the win. Let's stick around, guys. We might pull another quarter. Uh, so quarter century, another ultimate rare. Still got a lot more packs to go. The the Gaia, the Border, and the Right Princess. I would love to pull a. Uh, a good centered ultimate rare like it's very rare to get a, a good centered ultimate rare it's annoying dried winds and the fire king avatar which i believe were which points too yep another point here all right rank up shark drake and a soul release which was points i believe so it's a, a nice nostalgic card to to look at let's get another ultimate rare what do i want from here anyway. Maybe the snake eye, I guess. Ash. All right, blessed winds, dried winds, and a right princess. All right, serpentine princess, humid winds, and a right prince. All right, Udine. It's called the drag knight. Ooh. Uh, I kind of saw the sprinkles, so I wasn't like that surprised, but I was kind of hoping for something more than this. But we do get another ultimate rare, Diviner of the Herald. Not the, not the, not the card I'm looking for though, but it's probably points worthy. Well, it's definitely points worthy. This one is $36.93, so that is four points. Not the card I'm looking for, that's why I'm not that excited for. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Shin Shin, Gaia, and the Full Armored XC. Is that points? No, it was not. Yeah, since we've seen the prices for a lot of these cards already, um, there's probably no need to uh, shout out the prices unless it's a brand new Super. But I think we've seen all of them already. The Borders, Anamatapia, and the Fusion Tag. Come on, give me a, give me the Snake Eyes. I want the Snake Eyes. All right, Human Winds. Drag Knight and the uh, Right Prince. That's cool though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like, for like an undead zombie deck or something like that. All right, this uh, uh, Shark Dance, a uh, Drake, Blessed Winds, and the uh, Delta, which I believe was points too. Yep, $2.40, so that is a point. All right, la last three packs. Come on, Ultimate Rare. Give me the card that I'm looking for. The one thing I will say, at least I'm getting different ultimate rares. I'm not like getting duplicate ultimate rares. And the Mon Mondo, which was points. 
All right, come on home, please. Give me the snake eyes. Automatopoeia, skip force, and another soul release, which is a point. All right, final pack, guys. Press a like for luck. For that ultimate rare of snake eyes. I'm probably not gonna get it. <laughs> probably not. But at least it's not gonna be an unchained abomination. All right, the borders, rule of the borders. The human wins and the Dynamondo, which does end in the point. All right, the final score for this versus that that potentially is actually real cards is just maybe resealed, maybe not resealed because it. I did get the appropriate number of ultimate rares, two to two, uh, similar to my last versus with OTS packs. But you guys, let me know. Like, what, what do you think about these packs? Why why is it so wide? Like, did Konami really seal OTS twenty two like that? I don't know. I'm throwing my hands up. After this video, I'll definitely be watching, uh, you know, the other OTS22 openings that, in the YouTube. But uh, yeah, I'm just in shock right now. But we did pull some pretty cool cards. I'm not gonna lie. Pull th these from OTS25. I'm very, very happy I got this one. I, I would rather get the Snake Eyes, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the Divine or the Herald, even though they're both terrible, terrible centering. And of course, this one right here, these. Uh, Triple Tactics, which is of course the card that I wanted from OTS 22. I don't think there's anything else I wanted. I really don't care about the Pearly Lee, so I'm okay not getting that card. And the Brand of Fusion, of course, is a, is a decent card to pull as well. But if you guys want to see another OTS versus, definitely check out this video right over here. Yeah, that one, where I did a versus OTS 24 and 23, which was actually pretty epic as well. And I'll see you in the next one, the next first, I guess. My name is Talos. Peace.